This patient presented with redness and decreased vision in the left eye following binocular implantation of the bright ocular cosmetic iris implant. Here's the view before removal of the implant, which was causing complications. I first place my call in the eye, which will constrict the brown colored pupil. And you can see the irregularity of the pupil already as it's not coming down uniformly. The patient also had some cataracts. I place a dispersive viscoelastic to protect the corneal endothelium and a 2.75 millimeter incision is made. The patient's endothelial cell count was around 900, which is significantly lower than normal. A 25 gauge end grasping forcept is then used to first grab and then carefully retract the implant to allow a micro scissors to transect the implant. Next, some more dispersive viscoelastic is placed. A micro grasper is used to get a hold of an edge of the implant and it is explanted atraumatically. What we can see initially when looking at the implant are the five foot pods, which are meant to hold it in place but indeed cause much of the damage because they can't be sized properly. Next step is to remove the viscoelastic carefully. This is an eye which is phacic, has the natural lens. And then the wounds are hydrated with BSS. If we take a look at the damage done, you can see the pupil ovalization and the peripheral iris atrophy present, as well as some early lens changes, all due to the implant. I've seen this in many, many cases. I finished the surgery by placing Reshore Ocular Sealant for a watertight seal on the eye. The American Society of Cataract and Refractive Surgery has put out a clinical alert in conjunction with the other major cataract societies around the world warning of the dangers of these implants. Please don't have these put in your eye. The eye regained 2020 vision and a successful explantation was performed on the other eye. Nevertheless, the patient has permanent damage to her iris and faces likely early cataract surgery and potentially corneal surgery as well.